Young and Hungry, or Young and Hungry, which comes back. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yes! Yes! In this season. Larry David, what? And Marlon. Yes, I'm Marlon. And the Marlin. biggest show of all, Marlon. Marlon. <laughs> and Trial and Error in July. So let's, let's, let's jump into it. So tell us a little bit about your show and why should the social audience check in? Okay, well, if you like The Office and you like Parks and Recreation, you would love Trial and Error because it's the same wacky, wild kind of sensibility. And it's based off a lot of crime mysteries about how to solve a murder. So I just play a character that just has a ton of disorders. I can't recognize faces. I think when I see beautiful artwork when we talk about murder, I laugh hysterically. Speaking of British accent, I jumped in deep air when I'm startled. So it's just this wild cast of characters. Why do you love it? She just, my character just has <laughs> these very real disorders. I probably have 20 disorders that I'm operating with in, in you know, in episodes. And But she manages, it, it shows people that no matter what limitations you have, you still can, you, you know, you can still move through life successfully. Wonderful. So do you love it? Do I love hip hop, girl? What in between um, going from door to door in field service with my watch hours and the weights, I was throwing a few Jehovah's Witnesses. We weren't allowed to listen to any music, but I would sneak and listen to my hip hop all the time, girl. Your top five rappers that are alive. I feel like I'm in a movie. Again. I know this we is a lot. But give it a moment to breathe. We need to do some top five. I got five five minutes at the uh, Biggie, Tupac. Queen Latifah, um, Lady of Rage, Ooh. I'm missing one. Um, yeah, Lady of Rage. Um, um, oh my gosh! And 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 and. and Mike Jerome. No, it's it's a woman. It's it's a money love. Money love. Money yes. Love. And if you could have any of them perform in your show with you, which one would it be? Oh my gosh! With my dreams, too much and Biggie. But I would say, uh, I would say, I would say Lady of Rage. I would say Rage. I just love her. I love Rage. It's our 30th anniversary. Can you give us a shot? This is Source Magazine. Oh, of course, if I'm amazing. Ever. Yes. 1988. So. Yes. Source Magazine, 1988. You've been established. You've been in our lives. You've changed the world. Happy birthday. Thank you. I, 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 should not bring them. Them. I should switch now so they'll be closer to the camera. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I would just get them. Oh, okay. 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 Got you. All right. I'm ready for this. I was like, yeah. Oh, that's like a hot seat. Yeah, I yeah, know. That's like, like, thank you. I'm just bringing the, the great. I do. I do my job. Thank you. What's up, Marlon Cass? How you guys doing? How you doing? Good. How are you? So can you tell us a little bit about Marlon and why the source for this should be interested in watching your show? Y'all like to laugh and y'all should watch it. Exactly. Mm. We're funny. We have Marlon Wayne's on the show. It's about the boards, but not really about the boards. I was going to say, it's not that doesn't I mean, like kind of funny. funny. It's like, but it's <laughs> hilarious. It's about a family just, you know, being Because when I think divorce, I think hilarious. No, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's a reality in, in the world and in, in America especially, but we talk about it and we work together to be partners in love. Like, we're not romantic partners anymore, but we still are partners in love and trying to raise young black kings and queens and, yep. and still honor each other and love on each other, just not in the bedroom. And yeah. it's also important that like everybody in the cast was raised with hip hop. Mm -hmm. So like Marlon is like very much a modern dad. Yeah. So yeah. he was raised on Koji sweaters. You know, <laughs> Koji sweaters and, and Wu Tang and, and Nas Bubu, and Bob and Bubu, so. and Bubu, yeah. So when you watch our show, yeah. you'll watch people who grew up, you know, watching movies like Juice, you know, but now like the kids are like you know, what, the, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we have a lot of hip hop references in our show. You have a lot of hip. What's your favorite hip hop references in your show? Um, well, last season was really great when he was getting all of his stuff out of the um out of oh, the storage, right? storage unit. Yeah, the storage unit. And he like was bringing back all these old like hip hop fashion. Oh yeah, and remember? Like, yeah, the the, there was a Wu Tang. There was a Wu Tang T-shirt from yeah. the concert. And, yeah. yeah. And so Marlon goes off the cuff like when you guys had your um. You're getting back together, like they were showing the um, clips of you guys. Oh, the first yeah, day, the first, our first day. day. And he had a high top fade. So it was a lot of the fashions and music. We had boys to men on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I have two more questions. The, yeah. last, the first of the two questions is so we have some hip hop couples, right? Yeah. So we know that Biggie and Faith was a big hip hop couple. Yeah. People just devastated when they were divorced. Beyonce and Jay and Bad yeah. Together. We, we remember we talk when about it. Salt and Pepper. <laughs> Salt and Pepper was married to Tretch and they got divorced and everybody was devastated. Who would you be <laughs> devastated if they got divorced? Oh, that's easy. That's Beyonce and Jay Z. That's the I don't know. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a deviant. I'm going to say if, uh, if uh, Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats got divorced, that would be great. Or if Ron and Remy Ma and Pat Booth broke up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
you're, you're like, a load on that one. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> Will Smith? Will Jada Smith and Jada. Jada. Well, Jada's yeah. not a rapper. I mean, I guess, yeah, yeah, they hit them. <laughs> <laughs> but they never breaking up. They gonna live and do everything. Yeah, y'all don't be read. Don't no, be believing mm-hmm. that tab. I won't stuff. even say it. Yeah. No. Okay, if you guys can give us jobs to our top 30, uh, our power 30, our 30th anniversary, if you guys can just say, give a happy anniversary birthday wish to us. Oh, yeah. yeah, hey, what's up, Swords? I'm Essence Atkins. I'm Grisha Webb. And I'm Dion, and I got bars. Bars? I got bars. You know what? I was supposed to be on Unsigned Hype a while ago. It never happened, but I'm not holding against the Source, okay? Yeah, he's so Me and the Source are cool. Yeah. But y'all were sleeping on the brother's skills back in the day. It's all good. Happy anniversary. Happy yes. anniversary. You know, 30 y'all years made it. Long time in hip hop. No hard feelings. You know, y'all still living and kicking, and you know that's a lot to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Kim brought her ass over here before the interview because uh, I don't know what that was last time. Huh? You just walking in and out and just, you know. Because you know what? The uh, young lady had the camera on Sherry, so I didn't think they saw me. <laughs> you, you, you know, right. You, 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 know, you, can go, you know you can go wide. You know you can go wide. No, she, I saw her camera from the source. Got it. There. Okay. It well, guess what? It was a flash of orange. That right. <laughs> Precisely. It's like, it was like uh, uh, a comment that moves slower. <laughs> it was just, uh... All right, folks, uh, we're live at American Black Film Festival uh, here in Miami. Uh, yes, this is not live to tape. We're actually live. We're streaming right now. Oh. And so Kim, they heard all of that. Uh, we're here, of course, with uh, my girl Sherry Shepard. We're here with Essence Atkins, uh, looking for a man. We're here with uh, Diallo. We're over here with Brisha. She's always looking. And then Kim Whitley, <laughs> she's run more men off than anybody yeah. else. Kim Willie has been engaged. She has more diamond engagement rings than any woman I know. Well, well I do. Mean, look at this. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you I mean, gave nothing back. You like I'm keeping all of them. No. Her dip. Oh, oh wait, I didn't get the last yes. the ones to Tim. We're talking about. Yeah. I didn't get that one. You gave that <laughs> Why? It was, it was it was so small. No, no. I just figured. Why, why am I keeping this? And he was about to get married again. I said you might want to use this. Turn it in. Get you another. One. So generous. I will say when she came on Marlon, I. I I kind of wanted to propose. Oh. But I was married already, so. See? So. See? She would have gave me some. Oh! What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. What? We went with Go with it. But I gotta, okay, but I got to ask a real question. So, yeah. Sherry, we, before we were setting y'all up, you said that uh, Kim Whitley, your road dog, cost you some paper. Oh, I got fired behind Kim Whitley off Damon Wayans show. So I work with, we work with another so my wife and kids? So my wife and kids. And Kim will tell you this. Kim was, her acting was very broad. So it was very good. And I came. Okay, with, that's Hollywood term for she was loud as hell. <laughs> and I used to do a lot of shows with a lot of the, 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 colonizers. the colonizers. So my acting was very, very subtle. So Kim, we played Tisha Campbell's best friends. Yes. She was friend number one, and I was friend one A. But everything Kim said, it was so left. Like she said, I gotta go to the store. She went, I gotta go to the store. And I was like, I have to go That's to the funny. store. That's and funny. so they could never hear me because Kim. And finally, we were eating. We were in the commissary eating lunch. I, and it finally got to. They weren't giving me any lines. I was eating a sandwich all the time. Uh-huh. And so we were in the commissary eating, and Damon came. And he was like, It's not gonna work out. And I said, Are you fired? Me? He goes, It's not gonna work out. And I was like, They fired. She she might not make you feel. Because I knew that after she had something bigger and better. And but when we were on Marlon's show, I was so scared. I was like, oh, this is going to play. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, That's why I'm never going to play. So 
now, when you watch uh, Marlon's episode with us next week, you're going to see who the loudest is. <laughs> she was making sure she was getting all her lines She's out. She's like, loud. never going to get fired again. So, 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 Essence, if, if, I had to, if I had to say, you probably are... The, the calmest one out of this bunch. Okay. So, so that's what people say. So, so, how, so how do you deal with that when you have like you know loud, <laughs> really loud, <laughs> extra ass loud? Oh, I mean, how do you how do you how do you deal with that? Uh, well, first of all, you know we're black. We 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 loud. We loud. We come in all shades of loud. Yes, we come in all shades. I'm loud too in my own way. Um, but I love it. I love the energy. These women, we've known each other for years, and we love and adore each other. And the great thing about doing comedy together, all of us, is that we trust each other. And we have fun, and it isn't competitive. And we don't worry about who's getting bigger laughs. Like we just we work together as a team to make the best show possible and hopefully the audience sees that. And Diallo, do you have to just uh, suck it up and deal with all this estrogen? And he already told you he's married. He just goes, you're right, dear. Well, I mean, <laughs> he could be married. Happy but wife, happy life. He yeah. could be, he could be married, but as one pastor told me, I might be saved, but I ain't lying. <laughs> well, oh. you know what? We have Marlon on the show, and he's, he's like a nut man for loudest. all of us. Like, exactly. I mean, like, he is super loud. Yeah, and by the way, like, I feel like everybody's got their own lane. Like, you say it's not competitive. It's a little competitive. Like, we're all trying to, like, get our jokes in, but everybody's got their own lane. Like, I'm not trying to be Marlon. Rich is not trying to be Essence. Like, right. everybody on the show has their own lane. And by the way, when we bring in people, you know, like, like Sherry and Kim, like, they have their own lane. Yeah. So it's, it's, really, it's funny that you, think, that you think that, like, you were competing with her even after all these years because... Your energies on set are completely yeah, so different. different. Yeah. yeah. So, Brisha, what is your energy on set? You know, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> uh, my energy is just, you know, just a little, just a little lightning bug, just a spread lightning bug. Just spread okay. Just, just, give, just give me one second, Anthony. Put the camera on her ass. Cause she, she would come back, come back, come back over here. Come, come back, see, this happened in last interview. Let me explain something to you, <laughs> baby. I've been doing this since I was 14 years old. When you stood up, I knew time was up. But you walked way the hell over here, and your ass was doing this here. I don't need all that. I got you. And now everybody watching this live stream know who you are. What's your name? Hannah? Anna. Anna. You can do the rest of the people. I got it. I'm going to say you no, some no, walk no. Anna, you no, 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 no. See, she got it, she got it last of the last interview. On it. On she, it. she got up. She walked over here. She then stood next to Jay Ellis. It was kind of like rap. I was like, um. Do you think, Roland, that somebody's had conversations about Roland Martin in the board meetings before they even started? That they have already been warned about you? This is why they have to... I think right. that has been some conversation. No, 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 no. Now, when you see it, I got it. So I don't have to like, acknowledge you because guess what? My, my peripheral is so good. The moment she stood up, I know exactly what she was doing. See, I've done this before. So I just want to go ahead and uh, since I already put her on camera, I just want to put you on camera. Now y'all peep and repeat. All right. Uh, Marlon Ayers win. Tonight. tonight. June 14th, tonight. tonight. I've already said on my direct TV for my app. I'm Thank good. There you go. And, and season one is on Netflix. So no matter where you are in the world, you, you can log on to Netflix it. and watch season one. And why in the hell are you taking phone calls to move in? The Bible, I, never, I, I wouldn't answer it, but it said home and gate. I had to uh -oh. open the gate. Okay, so first delivery. of all. Wow. Hold up. Now, 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 now you know you bougie when uh, <laughs> your gate. phone rings and it you says home and gate. Yeah. And you can open it from your phone. I did. I did. Yeah, yeah. You ain't in the projects anymore. No, he did. I don't want to miss them Amazon packages. He was like, delivery. I was like, now they, now they walk into your house. Exactly. That's my last question. What? Anybody here will, no, seriously, no. The new delivery system, oh, you yeah, can give them your code. What? They will, they will put the package inside your house. Is, will anybody here allow that to happen? I, 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 I will send my dog on your behind. I, have the, I yes. will admit, I have given them the gate code. They are allowed, the Amazon on Amazon the FedEx, they're allowed to push the gate code, come into my gate, and leave the package. But not okay. in your bedroom. All right. Right, they'll be in your bedroom. <laughs> All right, y'all. Marlon, tonight, set your DVR to watch it. Uh, your the, your other. Marlon era is July 19th. Right, and if y'all gonna be, there you go. And what are you doing? Young, young and hungry. I know the half of that. 
But okay, here we go. Um, and don't forget, you can watch, you can listen to Kim and uh, Sherry, Tom, join every Tuesday and Thursday. Of course, I'm on every Monday and Wednesday, but uh, that's how we do it. Essence, I was good to see you, baby. You too. Gracia, I know, I know. My wife well, playing I'm for you. I'm a huge fan, and I have that shirt. You got the shirt? I do have that shirt. You got the shirt. But, but can shirt. you wear the socks too? <laughs> can't, pull the socks. can't pull out the socks. You need a pocket square in that jacket, too. I'll help you out. I'll see you on. All right, y'all, we got to go. We're at ABFF in Miami. Watch all these black people uh, and Kim. All right, peace. <laughs> Hold on, nobody move. Kim, stop talking. Look up. Group selfie. Wipe your lens off first. I don't need to, damn it. I got this. In my first rodeo. You don't like nobody telling you what to do, do you? Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you walk down the aisle, we're rolling. Oh okay. my God, you taking it all. Oh, no. damn.